Hi everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I am excited because I'm unboxing from Seven Sons. And this is the first time in a few months that I've gotten a delivery from them. I found Seven Sons right before Easter when we were all under the stay-at-home order. We typically have a ham for Easter and after my last time shopping at the grocery store, I said I wasn't going to do that again. So I had to find an online source that would deliver a ham. I don't remember how I found them, but I found Seven Sons then. And I was very pleasantly surprised with everything I've gotten from them. 100% grass-fed beef, heritage pork, organic chicken, really good quality items. It is a little more expensive than the butcher box is, but the quality of this is so much better than my experience with the butcher box. I decided I'm gonna keep the butcher box, but I'm only going to use them for pork and scallops because those seem to be pretty good. The ground beef was okay too, but everything else I've had in terms of the steak and the burgers from the butcher box, I have not cared for. The beef is mealy in texture and has a funny flavor to it. Burgers also have that funny flavor and you cook them frozen if you defrost them. And I had taken some out to cook and while I was prepping the other things for dinner, they started to defrost around the edges. The edges turned bright pink on the butcher box's burgers and it reminded me of pink slime, which I don't think is possible with grass-fed beef. I'd prefer just not to do that again. So their ground beef I made um, the other night. Hi, Ashlyn. Are you playing? I had made their ground beef last night for tacos and it was good. So I'll keep them for the ground beef and I will keep them for the pork because the pork was very good. The scallops were of pristine quality. I will keep them for that. But for burgers and beef, I'm going to stick to Seven Sons. And for chicken, Costco and BJ's really do have the best prices on organic chicken. So I think we'll just get that locally for now. That That's my plan anyway. So let's get this box open and see what's inside. Oh, again. Hopefully this is a better opening than my imperfect foods was the other day. Wow, that was just not good. So I joined the tribe and we got a shirt. It's $50 to join the Seven Sons Tribe, and you get special deals, special offers, things that aren't necessarily available to everybody, and you get something for free with every order. So I think it, I think it was $49 to join, but in my opinion, it's worth that because if you order a few times a year, you'll make that back. One thing that is a distinction between Seven Sons and the Butcher Boxes, this is not a subscription. You can order from them whenever you want. You just have to place your order between Monday through Sunday because they ship everything on Monday and it usually arrives Wednesday or Thursday, depending upon where you are. And I think sometimes they ask you, do you prefer it to, to arrive Wednesday or Thursday? So you can order from them every week if you want. Just get your order in by midnight on Sunday. This tells me what's inside. And Kim packed my order. It's nice to know. Hi, Kim. Thank you for packing my order. Oh, and look, they did. They gave us two. I was wondering if they would do that. So they did. They gave us two shirts because there are two of us. So I think that's really nice that they did that. They're huge, though. This is, like, good to sleep in. This is a... This is a medium. I probably should have asked for a small. Oh, it's nice and cool too. Probably should have asked for a small for myself, but I always think I'm bigger than I am. And this is inside of Mylar. I believe this is Mylar. It's called integratemp.com thermal blast bag, but 
to me it's kind of like a plasticky mylar material if you're interested in in that you can look up what that is i guess okay so we have lots of dry ice and kim did make a note extra dry ice so look at that you can put this in the sink and watch it foam later if we're if we want to that actually might be fun Wow, there is a lot of dry ice. But it's nice that they took the time to do that. Packaging, good packaging is so important. Okay. So I ordered Best of Steak Box the best of burger box. The best of steak box is $157.94. The best of burger box is $147.34. And I added on some other things. And my total with a free New York strip loin steak was $378.72. So we'll go through this. And remember, this is all 100% grass-fed, no antibiotics, no added hormones. So you tell me at the end if you think that this was worth $378.72 delivered. Okay, so we have two filet mignons, about a little over a third of a pound each. We have two beef Delmonico steaks. This one is 12.64 ounces, and this is 11.84 ounces. Next, we have beef sirloin steak. This one's 8.64, and this one is 7.84 ounces. So this is about an ounce smaller than this one. It is important to know that you pay for the actual pounds. So when you place your order, you're given a price. But before it ships, they actually do charge you according to the number of pounds and ounces that are in the box. So you're not paying an average. You're paying for what's exactly in the box. And this is the free New York strip steak that I got. This is 10.24 ounces. Oh, wait, I was wrong about that. I have more of the New York strip steaks. This one's 11.84 ounces. Is there another one in here? And two beef Sierra steaks, which are about half a pound each. I have two five ounce beef patties. These are the gourmet ground beef patties. I really like these. These are, these are good. More of the gourmet ground beef patties. And these are my favorite. These are the ground beef, two five ounce patties. And these are also, these are also five ounce. These have bacon in them. That is awesome. It adds such great flavor. And the only thing about that is you do have to make sure to cook it through. Cause you know, you don't want to eat bacon if it hasn't been cooked all the way through. But these are really, really good. And we, we love these around here more of the gourmet ground beef patties without the bacon two packages of ground beef sirloin and these are each 16 ounces more of the burgers with the uncured bacon and more of the burgers with the uncured bacon we won't have to buy burgers for a while and two more packages of the ground beef sirloin the regular gourmet, gourmet ground beef burger patties. Some more of the ground beef with the bacon. And some more of without the bacon. And maybe this was the free strip steak. I guess it doesn't really matter which the free one was. But this is 11.4 ounces. So Key West, I think. Oh, some royal red shrimp, chem free. These are wild shrimp and they have a partnership with a fishery that does all wild caught shrimp. Some uncured beef hot dogs and some bratwurst links. We really like these and they're so much healthier for you than 
Ballpark Franks or Hillshire Farms. These are not preserved. There's no nitrites or nitrates added. So the ingredients on the bratwurst are pork seasoning, blend of salt, spices, onion, water, beef, collagen casing. So that's pretty clean. And the hot dogs, the ingredients are pork, water, spices, natural flavors. Not a fan of natural flavors because not really sure what's in them, but I would trust it more from a brand like Seven Sons than I would from something I might pick up at the grocery store. Vinegar cultured celery powder. Now celery powder is a natural nitrate or nitrate, but it's better to have celery powder and know it's celery powder than some artificial nitrate or nitrite. Some more ground beef and this is, so the difference between, this is ground beef sirloin here and this is just gourmet ground beef. And I've never got this packaging for ground beef from Seven Sons. I've gotten uh, ground chicken that way and sausage that way, but that's the first time I've seen them use that packaging for ground beef Spicy sausage. This is really really good. I make this with uh, fennel spinach or uh, broccolini or kale and Serve it over pasta. It's really really good some more gour gourmet ground beef more gourmet ground beef some uncured sugar-free bacon and the ingredients here, it says no nitrates or nitrites, except for those occurring naturally in celery juice, powder, and sea salt. And it's prepared with up to a 20% solution of water, contains 2% or less celery juice, powder, and sea salt. And this is thicker. I don't know if you can see each individual slice is thicker than the butcher box is. It's the same amount It's 12 ounces instead of like a pound of bacon. And it's not as salty as the butcher box is. So if you've tried the butcher box and you find it too thin or too salty for your taste, give Seven Sons a try. There is a coupon in the description below for Seven Sons if you're interested in trying it. Some ground pork and Italian sausage. And that is everything that's in this box. I have never had an order that was inaccurate from this company. So that's really nice too. I can vouch for them on their accuracy and their shipping. So you tell me, have you tried Seven Sons? Do you think this is a good value for the price? Would you try Seven Sons? Are you interested in giving them a try? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Also, let me know how you feel about the value and have you ordered beef from either of these services and what do you think of them? If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, Hit that subscribe button and then tap the bell icon so you'll get notified whenever I post a new video. This is Amy. I'll see you real soon. Bye.